Hey guys, it's Brenda, president of Positive School Culture Club. So today is our first vlog. We hope you guys enjoy. Today is our food drive. It is April 1st, 2021. It's way too hot to be out here right now. Guys, so we got some bad news. Very hot. <laughs> Where are we putting the posters? Wait, that's an awkward angle. Okay. That's a very awkward angle. <laughs> Hey guys! Hi. So right now we're walking out onto the street. <laughs> we're putting up some posters and today is our food drive. It is April 1st, 2021. I am with Michaela right now. Hello. And we are now about to go out into the street and tape up these posters. So we'll see you guys when we're back with the other officers and club members. Bye! Bye. So there's Angela and Sabrina. We're walking over there right now. They've been sitting there while we've been putting up posters. That was the Say hi guys, say hi to the vlog. Hey guys, so we got some bad news. So like, we forgot to put up a poster. So now we gotta, so now we gotta go street. back that way. And then we gotta cross the street. And we'll show you guys where we put the poster. So yeah. bye. bye. It's way too hot to be out here right now. Right. <laughs> what do you guys think of the weather? Bad. Very hot. <laughs> okay guys, Michaela's leaving. Say bye, Michaela. Bye. Hey guys, so it wasn't until now that I realized that the camera footage of our Q&A was half cut off with like a blank white screen. I started editing the video and I was like, what the heck? So this is me now introducing the Q&A. So basically we put on our Instagram story for those of you who saw to ask us a question and then we'd answer it on our vlog. So we got a couple of questions out on there on our Instagram. So these next clips are us answering those questions. So yeah, enjoy them. And if you guys asked any questions that were important regarding this club, then those questions are answered in these next couple clips. So one person asked for Angela, what's your favorite thing about being in the Positive School Culture Club? So I think probably one of my most favorite thing about being in Positive School Culture Club is helping people. So right now we're doing a food drive and we have a lot of food that we can donate to, uh, what is it called? Uh, food for Life Ministry. Yeah, Food for Life Ministry. And then we have another question. Um, it is, what is all of your favorite school subjects? I'll say mine first and you say yours. Yeah. Okay, so our, my favorite school subject, I would have to say is history. Mr. Boat, history. <laughs> A push. A push. Um, I think my favorite school subject. Um, I think math because I have a good math teacher and he's really funny and he makes learning like easier. Okay, so another one of our questions is, what do you enjoy during your free time? You can answer. Okay. Um, I like to draw. I like to read. I've been reading Harry Potter. And I like to watch cartoons. Um, what do you enjoy during your free time? And you literally said it. Why did you need to repeat it? Something I enjoy during during my free time would be spending time with my family. Good choice. Um, another question. If you could know the absolute and total truth to one question, what question would you ask? I think I would ask, like, where are the aliens, you know? Where are they hiding? I want to know. <laughs> um, so if I were to ask, 
it would be like what is really outside of earth another question uh what's something weird your brain tries to make you do so i know one thing like when i go to the like the market with my mom like you know how there's just rice bags oh yeah i would like hit them and like <laughs> pat on them you know um something weird oh my gosh like every time i'm in like in a grass area or a soft spot i always have to do a handstand no matter uh, where i am i always have to do a handstand and i don't know why <laughs> Another question is, what is one thing that makes you happy with the sun emoji and a rainbow emoji? Um, what is one thing that makes you happy? I think being with my friends and family. Um, I think my dogs. My dogs make me really happy. They're annoying, but they make me really happy. Let me find out. And then this one is cats or dogs? Dogs. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the dumbest way you've been injured? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard one? Oh, I know one. Go ahead. So when I was in um, elementary school, I was in fifth grade. And like my uh, my classmate, she was sharpening a pencil, and she's saying, "Oh, like, oh, look, it's really sharp." And I was like, "Oh, really? Oh, let me hold it." And I I went like that to the <laughs> to like the top of the pencil, and then now I have like this pencil lead right here. Oh my gosh, yeah. she really has it. I don't <laughs> know if you guys could see that, but like seven years. wow. Yeah, it's been fading though. Oh, okay. I have one. Elementary school again, man. Elementary school. Um, one time I was on the monkey bars, and I want and it was so cool for us to jump to the third monkey bar. I don't know why, but like that, that was our school's thing. But so I was like going up to monkey bars. I'm cool. Like I could jump to the third one, and then I went to go jump for the third one. But I legitimately like I missed. So my hand, like my whole body, just went straight on my back, and I landed right on my back. And I think I passed out. Oh. I'm not quite sure what really happened after that, but I'm pretty sure I passed out. Yeah, that hurts. Um. So another question for both: If your house burned down, what is one thing you will take with you? Winky, or not winky face? A uh, surprise face, firefighter, firefighter. <laughs> and fire. All these emojis. <laughs> My dogs. Your dogs. My family can take care of themselves. I'm grabbing the dogs. Okay. Um, I think I would bring probably my drawing tablet. It was like 500 bucks. Oh. Yeah. And then this one's for you, Brenda. What's the next event you're planning on doing? Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I don't really have any events planned for the rest of the 2021 year, school year, but I do have in mind, um, so for club members, keep this in mind, we do want to start doing club meetings, in-person club meetings, and over Zoom here at the Chino Hills Community Center. I still need to book that, but I will let you guys know if we have any updates on that. And then this one is, what is your plan for this club next year? You already answer that. Oh yeah. What's everything? What's everything? Okay, so that's about the end of the Q&A. Um, we're just about to start packing up. We didn't get any more questions, so we're gonna stick with the ones that we got. We hope you guys like the Q&A. We plan to do that a lot more soon. If you guys have any questions, you guys can always DM us on Instagram or any way to contact us. But yeah, we're gonna wait a couple more minutes until more people keep on arriving, and then we'll let you guys know until it's over. Bye. My camera's gonna die. My camera's gonna hey. Hey guys, so it's me, Brenda, again, four days after the food drive. It wasn't until I was coming home from vacation up from spring break that I realized that at the end of the vlog that I was editing, I did not do an outro. So you know what that means. I am actually doing the outro on my own, unfortunately, without the officers and not at the food drive and four days actually after the food drive. So one of the biggest things of this outro is we first wanted to thank all of you who did show up at the food drive. We did not get approval from activities at least one week before the food drive, which was all of a sudden for us and for you guys. It wasn't until I sent out the blast saying the food drive is on and everyone was just like, 
oh my gosh, like putting out there on Instagram, making sure they find a way to spread the word out for the world and hopefully to see familiar faces. But something that really did shine to me is that even though we only had one week before the food drive, we still saw so many faces that I know I expected. I did not expect to see so many people show up and donate so much food. So we first wanted to thank you guys who donated food. It meant so much to us. You guys received two hours volunteer service, so log that into your personal logs. And we hope that as we have more events, your guys' volunteer hours will be going up. Like I said before, this food drive was a complete success. Like I, that was not something I anticipated. And it's something that I do want to do more in the future as president. I do want to do more food drives before some of our officers leave so that's a hint that we are going to be doing a lot more food drives so if you guys want to donate again or you guys are interested in donating it's most likely going to be at Ayala follow us on Instagram down below or message any of us for any future food drives they are going to be coming so please be aware of that we definitely hope to see you guys in some of our future food drives or any future event before I completely sign off I do want to say just a quick wrap up of the vlog we officers and club members did have so much fun during the food drive. I know it got a little hot, it got really hot and it did get boring between increments of you guys not coming but we did figure out a way to entertain ourselves, we did figure out a way to beat the heat and overall at the end of the day we realized how much fun we had and how good it was to see our officers together because not all of us had the same cohorts and we've been seeing each other on Zoom throughout this entire quarantine. One more quick thing is we hope that we put a smile on your guys' faces throughout one time in this vlog or if you guys came out to the food drive and we just hope we put a smile on somebody's face because of this food drive because that is our club, that is what we are about. We want to spread positivity out into the world. We donated food to the Food for Life ministry and know that that food was given to someone who truly needed it. So with that said, we do want to continue putting a smile on your guys' faces. So I've discussed with the other officers if they're interested in investing more into putting out videos like this one or maybe doing any YouTube video ideas. So comment down in the comment section below any YouTube video ideas you guys may have. It does not matter what it is. I know challenges are big right now. Maybe you guys want to look into a life as an officer or... Um, and just a general idea of one of us officers or any YouTube video idea there is out there definitely either comment down below or message us on our Instagram, our Remind, our Google Classroom, our email and then down below there's also mine and my other officers personal emails and our inst personal Instagrams as well as my advisors, they have their personal email out there as well if you guys want to email them and have any questions, any suggestions, or anything that you guys may need, you guys feel free to email us, message us, or anything. We're always there and we will respond to you as soon as we can. Just to wrap it all up, this is me signing off, like I said, unfortunately on my own. I, I wish the other officers were here, but that is not the case because, like I said, it's four days after the food drive. So we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's a little short. Bear with us. It was our first vlog, but we hope to see you guys more in the future. Bye!